Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Doug and I have Sharko Foot. Welcome to the June vlog for the Sharko Foot Awareness. A um, little update about myself, I did have the vitrectomy surgery on my left eye. Uh, I'll get close a little bit. It's just kind of healing. As of right now, I don't have any vision in my left eye. And so it's been challenging and my right eye is hazy, foggy, murky is the new word I've learned. Um, however, the bad news is I have to go in for the surgery, a vitrectomy surgery on Tuesday, June 10th same procedure in my right eye because the doctor said my right eye cannot wait any longer. The downside to that surgery is I won't have any vision in the right eye either. So uh, many of you know from the, the, the groups on Facebook that I've posted about uh, what's going on. So I will not have any vision and we'll just have to wait weeks, months until uh, I regain some vision back. Um, today I have a special treat. I have some extra video footage here with my doctor, um, Dr. Haddock, who treats my Sharko foot and what he said about my foot and uh, what's going on with it and how he's treating my foot. And so we'll take a look at that. Good morning, uh, Dr. Haddock here. I'm sitting down with Mr. Anderson. You guys all know him well. I know following along with his uh, vlogs uh, for Sharko Foot Awareness. So uh, Doug and I are touching base here. He's uh, he's got an upcoming uh, eye procedure. I think he's probably already updated you on. Uh, and we're uh, sitting down. We usually try to do so on three month uh, intervals. It's really imperative that uh, uh, Doug uh, um, maintain a close relationship with a specialist in foot and ankle surgery. Uh, because of his Charcot deformities uh, period. Uh, we've been uh, watching this right one most closely. Uh, you can kind of see this very classic rocker bottom type deformity and I know that uh, Doug has shared his x-rays with you in the past uh, but as his deformity has sort of evolved into a more consolidated phase this is a very classic type of Charcot foot type deformity. Uh, uh, the left one has remained much more stable and, and we've uh, been aggressive about keeping that in a full length accommodative extra depth shoes. You can see Doug's uh, shoe geek here. He's got a, a custom uh, a diabetic type of AFO on the right uh, and then a full length accommodative inserted shoe with an extra depth, extra width type of shoe uh, on his left side. Uh, we've talked a bit about his Achilles and its impact on his mechanics. Uh, uh, and again, uh, Doug has somebody, uh, and it's a challenge obviously with his impaired vision, but he has somebody looking at his feet every day uh, because we're always looking for any evidence of skin breakdown because my goal with Doug is always going to be an ulcer-free, infection-free, and braceable foot, and that's really going to be imperative for us. So any evidence that we're losing that battle, uh, uh, I need to be aware of that uh, immediately because that may mean that we need to either adjust our bracing strategy an offloading strategy, uh, or we may need to be considering the role of, of surgery. Uh, and Doug and I briefly talked about surgery and the spectrum of Charcot reconstruction, uh, and there are a lot of ways to, uh, to approach that. I know he shared some uh, uh, very uh, pertinent literature with, uh, with his followers. So uh, anyway, nice to touch base with you all personally, and I uh, appreciate Doug giving me that opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. That was uh, my doctor, Dr. Haddock, with uh, Orthopedic Associates of Southwest Ohio. Um, hope you enjoyed that with uh, myself and my doctor in the video. Um, so, in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, just keep the awareness going with Sharko Foot. Uh, be, be sure to visit the uh, page uh, www.facebook.com forward slash Sharko Foot Awareness. And also you can uh, go to Twitter as well with at Sharko underscore foot. You can find us there as well. I am um, going to try to keep uh, everything updated as I can with the help of my lovely wife and daughter. And as they uh, will you know, post some things on there for me as uh, I think of things. Uh, during this challenging time without no vision. So until next time, keep the awareness going, raising awareness two feet at a time.